Ladies and gentlemen, now introducing the A final of the women's 100 breaststroke. Swimming in lane number one from Seward Tsunami Swim Club, 12th in this event at Nationals last summer. For in lane one, Lydia Jacoby. Lane two, silver in the 200 breaststroke at the Pan American Games from Aggie Swim Club, Bethany Gallat. Silver in the 200 breaststroke at World University Games in three from the Condor Swim Club of Clarkstown, Emily Escobedo. Your top seed in lane four, Pan Am gold medalist in the 100 and 200 breaststroke from Mission Viejo, Annie Laser. Third in the 100 and 200 breaststroke at NCAAs in five from NC State University, Sophie Hansen. Lane six, the silver in the 200 breaststroke at World Championships in 2015 from Chattahoochee Gold Swim Club, Micah Samra. Lane seven, ninth in the 200 breaststroke at World Championships in 2017 from Lobra. Jocelyn Juliet. And in lane eight, silver in the 100 and 200 breaststroke at West Winter Junior Nationals from University of Denver Hilltoppers, Emma Whipper. A final of the women's 100 breaststroke. Down and back, that is it. And then we will crown a gold medalist. Laser with the top time this morning, 107.72. Pool record a 106.89 owned by Annie Laser, who's lane number four. And the lead also owned by Annie Laser, 31-3-1 on the first 50. About six tenths of a second faster than she was in the prelims. Sophie Hansen at that 32-10, right where she was in prelims. Final 15 meters for Laser. Can she hang on? Some charges from Escobedo and Hansen right around her. But it looks like she will win with a 106-68 and break her own pool record in the process. Coaches and swimmers, scratch box will close in five minutes. Once again, scratches are due in five minutes. Here kind of breakthrough last year, win a couple of races, everything's looked like it's gone well. What did you take from the Pan Am's experience of having that big international meet experience as you go forward to try to make the team for Tokyo? 
Yeah, um, I think I learned a lot about um, competing at a high level outside the pool, not just in the pool. Um, just adjusting to a different environment, different food, different racing times, racing at like 11 p.m. So yeah, I think it was more of the stuff outside the pool and a lot of the mental side of things more than anything. And, and you're so good and so solid in both the 100 and 200. How is it training for each one of those? Um, the training for me is kind of similar. Um, I think it's been really nice. My speed's picked up a little bit lately. It's easy to stay humble in the 100 when you swim next to the world record holder every day. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think training with her has really helped me a lot and helped me realize like if I want to be at the, you know, towards the top in the world, then I got to keep up with her every day. Yeah, humble and happy here with a win. Annie, thanks for the time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Annie Laser, again, don't sleep on her.